I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now, our feature presentation. You know, my brother won it last year, you know, royalty runs in the family, I'm gonna take the crown home. They're not gonna be able to hear you on the stage when I'm up there, so just know I'm coming and I'm winning. Nick Reese, when I'm done with him, he's gonna be Reese's Pieces. Please, Keegan, I can handle him. What's he gonna do, write me a thank you note when I beat him? Kevin Wu, question mark? More, more like Kevin Boo, cause he sucks. All right, I don't even know who's in this competition or what competition I'm in, but regardless, I'm winning. There's no way Caroline Gilligan's beating me. She wanted the presidency of the chess club too, but look, here I am, president for four years. Grace is so funny if she thinks she's gonna beat me. Like, that's actually hilarious. Ha ha ha. I'm just so excited to compete. I mean, I, I could never say anything mean about any of my competitors. I mean, they're all just so amazing. We're gonna do such a great job. Hey Cougars, thanks for watching that video. Hope you enjoyed it. We're really excited for you to come to Mr. and Mrs. QO. It's on this Thursday, March 7th in the auditorium. Tickets are $3. It's going to be a lot of fun. And we'll see you there. Hey Drew, where are we going? Uh, so you guys seem to like some of the puns I was doing last week, so I'm going to go to Target. Not quite as interesting as Ikea, but I guarantee you we're going to find some good stuff there. Jeez, there's so much stuff. Mitch, do you have a pun? I got none. My favorite thing about my cat is it's Swiss gears. Do you want to buy this? Not necessarily. $77. Is there a sale on these? Man, these are both really nice. I'll take two. Well, just a second now. Will somebody tell me how much this basketball costs? Um, bro, I don't know. I don't know where my mom is, but I could text her and find out. Man, I haven't shaved in a while. Mitch has. Man, they've got so many choices. I wonder which color is to best for me to dye my hair. <laughs> ah, sodium chloride. I knew I smelled something. Ah, see what I did there? My favorite color is brown. <laughs> well, you're only getting one of those? Yeah. Well, it's not enough. We need Mo Bamba. You know what Lightning McQueen says in cars? Catch out! Miss Strauss gave me a D in math, and I just Swiss Miss Strauss would bump it up to an A. This is only 219? I can't believe it. Shh, the store's about to close. We have to be silent. Ow! <laughs> Man, you know, playoffs on Friday. Everybody come support us, 715 in our house, you know what I'm saying? And we just gonna ball out, you feel me?
buckets. Only buckets. Only buckets. I like that. <laughs> Only buckets. Hi, I'm Elena. Uh, I'm a junior at QO, and I started a club for ESOL students. So, like, if you want to come and like learn English, like that's great, fantastic. We're also like a whole family and a community, so like, like we love everyone, and we're planning on like throwing a party sometime, like for Valentine's Day, even though like that was like a while ago. But like, we're still like planning on bringing food and stuff. So like, if you're interested. And yeah, so like it's in room 227 on Fridays at lunch. Every Friday, I'm always here. And we have a really awesome sponsor already, so you'd have a hat on them. And then my friends usually come too, but like we want to get more people because like we want to meet like different cultures and like meet new people and everything. Uh, yo viste en las viernes en nuestra club. As we wrap up Black History Month on QO TV, the last important figure we'll be covering is Tarana Burke. She's the founder and the catalyst for the Me Too movement. She was born in the Bronx, New York on September 12, 1973. She grew up in the projects to a low-income, working-class family. Unfortunately, she was raped and sexually assaulted while growing up. Her mother inspired her to recover from her trauma and involve herself in the community to prevent similar events happening to other young girls of color, which she spent her adolescence doing. After graduating from Auburn University in Alabama in the late 1990s, she moved to Selma, Alabama, a civil rights landmark in the United States, the origin of the famous March to Alabama's capital, Montgomery, organized by African American civil rights leaders such as now Congressman John Lewis and Martin Luther King Jr. There, she developed the nonprofit that works with survivors of sexual violence, Just Be, in 2003, an all girls program aged 12 to 18. In 2006, she founded the Me Too movement. It was just a phrase, but it proved to have infinite potential. On October 15, 2017, actress Alyssa Milano tweeted her phrase. Soon enough, her movement gained worldwide attention. Millions upon millions of people started sharing their stories of sexual assault and harassment and abuse with the hashtag MeToo. Since founding the MeToo movement and for her entire life, Tarana has strived to ensure that everyone on earth can have their stories told and to bring to light the cases of sexual harassment and assault that happen every day. Alright guys, listen up. You know, walk with me. So we got a video contest that we are offering here at QO all and all through Montgomery County Public Schools. It's a 60 second video of dating abuse prevention. And the, you can win up to $1,000. What I would do with $1,000? Defined as abuse and mistreatment of someone vulnerable by someone stronger and or more powerful. It began with some people just just talking, but then the messages they got worse. They got to the point where it became more consistent and it felt like no one was there to help me. It was just this one day where I couldn't take it anymore, so I left. I thought I was okay on my own, but then... Finally, somebody noticed me in a positive way. Find those people.
Pretty boy, sweet.